So Brandon, he's a student of the Paleo Way, and um, <laughs> I guess I don't want to say he's my student, but you know, he he asked me some advice, and he told me. Um, well, I sorry. took I took Rob's counsel. Right, Rob's exactly. counsel. Yes. And he said, you know. I'm gaining weight, which is funny for Brandon because he like has always been tall and you know thin frame. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter because eventually some people hit like a, um, I call it like a toxic wall where they start to gain weight. Yes. You know, and I guess he had hit this wall and he actually yeah. got like a belly, and I was like, wow, you're not looking like yourself, man. You know, and he's well, I let him point it out himself. You know? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and <he's> wow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So well, that was one I had to build. Awkward. But, right. Um, Looking you up and down. <laughs> counsel from wise people is good. And I know that Rob had been through what he went through and that it wasn't it wasn't easy, but through the process he learned so much about health and, and all these things. So I trusted his knowledge because it was from experience, not necessarily just head knowledge from just reading things that he didn't understand or experience himself. So Anyway, so I took I took his advice, which he said cut all the cut all the carbs, or severely limit them, and uh, and and increase fats uh, fat intake by a lot, and uh, just do some protein, um, and uh, I started doing that. Just started eating avocado. I changed my diet from a lot of carb heavy stuff, nice, um, to completely eliminating wheat and gluten from my diet, and well, mostly eliminating carbs. And just did only things like avocados, eggs, butter, and pretty much just ate this like every day for for like uh, I don't know how many days I did it, but I did it for a while. And with with a little bit of exercise mixed in, not not much really. And uh, and because I'd I'd always been like exercising and, mm -hmm. and still had like still was pretty big and exercise walking and stuff. Almost. To me, Overrated. You know, it's almost <laughs> like irrelevant. Yeah, the, diet. the amount of exercise you need to do to get your metabolism going is so small. It's just the intensity that counts. I think right, I told right. you that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But anyway, he, I really wish we important. had a before and after because like he yeah. looks like amazing. We'll yeah. put it up. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I, you were 205 and you're down. I was like 205 and then I measured myself a little while ago. I even lost more weight since then, I believe. Mm -hmm. But I went down to like 180 something. And so that's I, probably I lost, his ideal. I don't think you yes. need to go lower. One, one eighty something mm -hmm. is like yeah, around height. high school uh, weight. That's which is always good, a good feeling. Is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you like your marriage weight is always good. Yeah, yeah. I was one eighty five when I was married, and yeah. I I'm under that now. Right. So that was like high for me. Right. You're taller. Too. And that and now because through this, like not only did I lose the weight, but I actually feel different, like in a good way. Like mm -hmm. my brain. I feel I don't feel like this heaviness. Well, you're weirdness. probably in ketosis. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, when I and I'm able to sleep better, I can sleep shorter and still feel rested. Nice. Not that not that we should cut our hours no, of sleep, no, no. but I was over. That's I a good needed sign, too much man. sleep. Yeah, you know, that's I needed a good too time. much sleep. Yeah. But you were so, saying your Chipotle. Order? Yeah. What have you yeah, been my ordering? Chipotle, my Chipotle order. Yeah. So the burrito bowl, I used to get rice and beans. Um, as like a staple thing because I didn't really understand what I was doing but I knew that it was it was it's good ingredients it's clean food right but I didn't realize that the, the carbohydrates was like too much way too much mm -hmm. and and that's what was really messing with did my you weight. Uh, did you used to ask for like double rice and stuff too no okay no yeah. I just would get normal rice normal beans um, mm -hmm. So then I completely cut out the beans and the rice when I was going to Chipotle during. And plus, people eat corn meal. too on top of all of right. that. Yeah, yeah so. well, I never eat corn. corn, <laughs> too. Yeah, corn. Um, Even non GMO, it's like you can't really trust it, I think. I had yeah. a non paleo doctor tell me that corn was terrible, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> when someone who's not even paleo says it, then. <laughs> it was a doctor. That is amazing. But anyway, so, uh, so yeah, and then I just doubled my fats with guacamole. And uh, just like, did you ever weight just the, come off? Came off. Mm -hmm. Did you ever bring the butter and add that? Well, you said you were <laughs> no, eating but I just well. been taking like a big stick and just chewing step. on it, just <laughs> eating the butter. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's eggs really like whenever you yeah want. eggs yeah eggs and and uh, avocados 
just raw, just scooping it out. I should have um, I should have told you like hot, fed. hot dogs and bacon are the same because like there's so much fat in it. It's barely any protein, so right, right, good. Right. Yeah. It's almost the same ratio for eggs. Yeah, 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 yeah. And eggs are basically just fat too. So yeah, yeah, it is a good amount of protein, but it's a good ratio. So. Yeah, it's a good ratio. So on this diet, that's a good thing because it sounds like oh, it's fatty. Yeah, and it's bad. But, yeah. but this is my prescription for someone who comes to me and says, like, lose, I want to lose weight. And I just yeah. say, like, the easiest way to lose weight is to cut carbs. However, this is the part where I say, like, you're basically at your ideal weight. Mm -hmm. And you need to reintroduce, like, carbs in a controlled fashion. Because right. not only could you become insulin resistant at this point, on a full ketosis type diet of high fats and everything some mm -hmm. people get insulin resistant and start to gain weight again that's what the bulletproof you know pro procedure is okay but now that you've been able to control your carb cravings it'll be no problem right we started you know? out this way to completely none and then mm -hmm. eventually we eat rice now yeah. chipotle mm -hmm. right right right. just a little bit yeah. though we mm -hmm. t we asked them to have one scoop Okay, and I've seen and then, and then when you start to see something change again, do you cut back again on If course? you really think so, but I wouldn't worry about it. I think you've fixed it. Oh, I see. I think see. you're it's... now insulin sensitive. I, I see can what just you're tell. saying. I can just tell by looking at you. Yeah. Yeah, and some people, like, they stay ketotic the rest of their life, and they start to get bad symptoms, and they, mm -hmm. and they might even start to gain weight. Yeah. But that's that's what I'm here to tell you, is, like, that... Right. They they've figured that out too. Like right. it's been twenty years since basically people did paleo. You mm -hmm. know, it was kind of around in the nineties, and these people who did it the first time and mm -hmm. the Adkins types, mm -hmm. they would gain weight, and they'd be like, "What happened?" You know. Right. So now you know. That's what I do. I yeah. can eat like you know, three or four cups of rice and not gain weight. Right, so, right, right. Especially if you work out. Like if you do a weightlifting or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like that day you do. Ton of carbs right right you know. to be able to then hit the weights yeah right. that makes sense and it helps with recovery and all that and you won't get, ever gain weight and yeah. that's that's awesome i was telling um telling someone about this like what i've been doing because i told them i lost weight and all this like, what are you mm -hmm. eating and i told them like oh that's the atkins diet yeah basically <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i was like oh I didn't but yours realize is like that. yours is like a clean version you know right. atkins never got into organic or and he never I don't think mom knows a lot more about it actually she always corrects me but uh, you know Adkins did he didn't talk about vegetable oil as, as a bad thing right mom mm -hmm. right so that's kind of oh a, yes you know, but he did prefer table. olive yeah. uh, okay right. I, I mean I don't think he made a big deal about negativity on vegetable oil but right yeah clean food is definitely important right so there you have it. There Success. it is. Success. I mean, <laughs> you can't argue with the results. I, you yeah. only live once, and that means you only have one body. <laughs> yeah, Be careful of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly what it means. <laughs> not the other way around. No, not at all. I didn't hear. No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's this guy.